Hello guys, this is me Gaurav. Today I'm gonna show you how to download, install and configure Rancher OS. Rancher OS is basically used for uh, container purposes like Docker and other things. Go to Google, type Rancher OS. Go to the first link rancheros.com rancher-os Click on download Rancher OS. Now it will take you to the page where the actual Rancher OS resides in GitHub page. Here we have to go to the release tab. <clears throat> I don't want any pre-release. This is the latest release but it's a pre-release. That means it's not yet stable enough. I will just scroll down pre-release. I don't want this all. I don't want this also. Okay, latest release version 1.0.1 .1 LTS. LTS stands for long term support. This is the thing that I am searching for. Okay, so now here are the download options. Basically, I require rancheros.iso because it can be installed on physical machine as well as virtual machines. Let's just download. Okay, since I already have it, so I will just cancel it. Further, there are, there is one more thing that you would like to download. It's putty. Basically, there are four things that we need to have. First one is Rancher OS ISO. Second one is putty. And the third one is putty gen. It generates RSA keys. We need this putty. I have already downloaded it. So I will not download it again. Further I will go down and I need this also putty gen. I have, since I have already downloaded it. So I will not download it again. As you can see my download folder. Rancher OS ISO. Putty gen. Putty. And cloud config. This is the file. Which I have given in the description as well. And this is the most important file. And I will tell you later how to use this file. Let's just create a machine. Now the now I can close the Firefox. No need further required. New Rancher OS Linux Linux 64 bit. Make sure you select 64 bit because uh, the Rancher OS ISO contain both 32 and 64 bit kernels. So 64 bit is good. And uh, RAM at least give 1 GB of RAM because I have seen in scenarios where RAM given less than 1 GB creates issue in Rancher OS. Create now. Disk size 8 GB. Okay. Just before starting the machine, I would like to do some configuration. Go to the audio tab, turn off audio, go to network. Make sure the network is in bridge adapter mode. Okay. Let's just start. <coughs> start. Okay, so now 
Rancher OS has booted live via ISO. Let's just check who am I? I am Rancher. Even we can see from here that Rancher, Rancher. So, in order to get everything set up, first we need to look at have a look at our IP. IP ADDR. Pipe it through less. So now this is my adapter. Basically, you will have it too. And if you have multiple NIC, then you will have multiple ETH, like ETHO, ETH1, and like so on. So right now, I don't have any IP configured over here at ETHO. So I am basically shut at networking. And I have not even configured the DSCP on my network. If I would have configured DSCP on my network, this thing would not have been the same. It would have taken the IP from my DSCP server. So right now I don't have a IP also. So I will create IP first. Type sudo. This, this is just a temporary IP. I will tell you, you will get it later why we are using this temporary IP. sudo IP ADDR add give it IP 172.16.1.21 subnet mask device it's ETHO. Okay. So basically now the IP is set. Let's just check. Okay, so right now I have my IP. Let's just check the connectivity. Uh huh, ping. I'm just pinging my gateway. Okay, so I am now able to ping my gateway. See, you can see that I have not given the gateway because it's not required now. Let's just. The second thing is we have to give it a password. Like currently we are logged in as rancher user. So we need to give it a password as well. Right now the password is empty or I don't know what is the password right now. So right now I have, we will just give it a password. Basically I believe it's empty. Pseudo password rancher. It will ask me for a password. I will type it. Okay. So now we have a user rancher. We have uh, a password as well for user rancher. We have a IP so that we can have a connectivity with my this Windows machine. So now let's just go to putty. What IP I have given. Okay, so it's uh, 21. 172.16.1.21 open yes login as rancher what was the password type it okay so now basically I can just minimize my virtual machine I can work through here now we need uh, something that's called a YML file this is the YML file I have uh, uploaded it in the description as well. You can download it and edit it as required. Let's just open the file, see the content. So basically what I have, <coughs> so basically what I did in this file is I have created a configuration file so that when we install Rancher OS on our hard drive, this would be automatically configured by default. So let's just go ahead. This will after when it will be installed on hard drive. This will be the IP. This will be the gate. This will be the gateway. MTU default MTU. DSCP false. DNS name server Google DNS. And further we need SSH authorities key. I will tell you the purpose of this. This is very important. Without this we will not be able to SSH the machine and not be able to log in so right now we have our vm and now we need this thing we need a rsa key 
पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट बोथ ओपन एस एस एच की पुटीजेन सॉरी ओपन पुटीजेन क्लिक ऑन जनरेट नाउ वी हैव टू डू सम रैंडम स्टफ इन ऑर्डर टू गेट इट वर्किंग कीप योर माउस मूविंग प्रेस स्पेस एज वेल इन बिटवीन क्लिक इट समेयर डू अ रिफ्रेश लाइक दिस दिस सो बेसिकली दिस इज क्रिएटिंग आर एस ए की फॉर एस ओके सो आई हैव मूवड माई माउस वेरी मच एंड आई गॉट द की सेव पब्लिक की सेव इट एज आर एस ए पब्लिक सेव सेव प्राइवेट की इट विल आस्क यू फॉर अ पास फेज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव इट टू अ प्राइवेट की आई डोंट वॉन्ट इट नाउ सो आई विल जस्ट डू येस आर एस ए प्राइवेट की ओके लुक्स गुड I can see both the files. I will just close it now. Now the second things come is open cloud config. Go to Rancher OS, which is live. Type vi cloud config. dot yml yml is the file extension which is required in order to install rancher os and vi is the editor i have used i press enter press i for insert mode copy paste okay so now we have to edit only few things right now my rancher os live is on 21 ip after installation it will be on 20 ip let's just close this file now i need my public key after r this give it a space and open this public key let's just use notepad++ see now here is the thing the key contains enter we have to remove these enters right now let's just switch to the so i'm just basically at the end of the line pressing delete button to make it a single line delete 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 okay so now we have everything in a single line let's just copy it okay copy paste turn here okay so now press escape twice colon wq exclamation now the file is saved let's just see the content again cloud config okay everything is set now we have to look at our hard drive how many hard drives i have and on which hard drive i want to install oh type sudo f disk minus l okay so this is basically my hard drive dev sga i want to install in not i want to install it on this drive so now the installation process begins type sudo ros install hyphen c for giving config file we have just created cloud.config d for drive dev sga okay everything is set now there is no need to format the drive before it will do it automatically do you want to install okay <laughs> reboot no i am just power offing instead of sudo power off okay so our vm is shut down now let's just open settings i am going to remove this live iso Okay, let's just start the machine. Okay, 
as you can see I have removed the ISO and the boot device priority is hard drive at first so it's basically booting from hard drive these things take some time earlier at the when we have booted the live ISO I have given the IP 21 now I have given the IP 20 see now here uh, it have it is it have booted so right now these are the IPs Etho is uh, let me just minimize all the stuffs and see now this is the IP 20 and as you can see we I have type rancher now I don't know the password even if we set at the time of live ISO still at the time of installation the password is removed so typing any password would not help we have to SSH this machine and later give it a password 172.16.1.20 now I have to give my private key Open. yes R rancher okay as soon as I log in using using rancher I get the shell now I can type sudo rancher oh I'm, I'm sudo password rancher I have given some password let's just okay see now I am able to SSH now I am able to you log in remotely remotely via my window and as well as on physically where it is installed thanks for watching let's just ping google also oh google.com okay i have the assist to the internet as well let's just power off thanks for watching <clears throat>